everybody. I am so excited to see you again today. Um, we are going to continue working and creating art uh, using things that we have found around our house. Um, with the main focus being that we are creating pieces that we are going to make into a book at the end. Um, so every single day we're trying to make a piece of artwork um, using things from around the house that uh, we can make art on. So, so far, let me kind of recap everything. So far we have our um, coffee um, painting, which was super cool, on our envelope. We have made a reposé piece of artwork using a foil and some sort of paint, whatever you have around the house, whether it's shoe polish or um, a, an acrylic paint or tempera or house paint even. And then we actually kind of rub that off a little bit so that way a little bit of that foil is showing through. And we've got a lot of um, the paint actually in the grooves there. I also want you to hold on to the um, this piece that we use to help create this. This is also going to be really cool to use in our journal as well. So as of right now, we've got about three pages to be uh, put into our journal. So really quick, I want to show you a little bit of an example about where, where we're kind of headed. Um, it's not going to be exactly the same. But it's going, it's, it's rather, um, it's the same sort of principle. So this is actually a junk journal that my mother made. Um, she's very much so into uh, making um, junk journals and, and all that. But this is, she actually uh, sewed in each signature. And this is just full of different things that she thought would be interesting to put in here. Now, once you bind this all together, um, then you can actually, you can see here, she even has a piece of paper towel that she would dab her paintbrush on that she thought would be really cool to put in there too. But after these are made, then they're ready for you to make even more artwork on. So these pieces that we're creating are going to be the pages that we are actually going to be making more art onto uh, later. And so that's what makes this so cool. And they are ever changing. Just because this repose looks like this, doesn't mean it has to stay this way. This can actually become a pocket. This can become a, a canvas for another piece of artwork. It can, we can cut it up and we can put it into a collage page maybe. Um, and the same thing with our, with our teacup or with our coffee, with our coffee painting or our little doodle here that we're going to hang on to. So it's important that you kind of keep these all together, just kind of fold them all together. You know, one thing can kind of be in charge of everything else, right? And just keep it all together and set aside. Because today we're going to do something really, really, really cool, I think. I don't know if you've ever noticed what the inside of some of these envelopes look like. But I've been going around ever since I started this journey with you. Um, I've been going around my house and collecting all of my envelopes uh, just to see what's on the inside. And so a lot of these envelopes have like that security sort of protection on the inside. And so, for instance, this one is blue. It had a really cool pattern. This one has... Let me open it up for you. This one has uh, a bunch of like um, hatching, like those little lines. Really great texture on that. And then I have some softer lines that are in, in a really cool pattern as well, which is super cool. And then this one, which is darker, but what a cool design if I was wanting to do something like uh, like a fashion piece. Maybe I wanted to design an outfit and I was going to design it all in, you know, this sort of print. So consider these things kind of like a print that would be on uh, clothing. Let me show you this one. I think this one's my favorite. This one's really kind of cool. I found this one and I felt like I had hit 
the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow because y'all look look at how cool that is that is so cool that is so cool so um that one is my favorite of course it's a little dramatic i see a little bit we can connect it to some art deco maybe um i kind of i totally get that vibe off of this design. I've never seen the inside of an envelope look like this, actually. Um, so, super excited about that one. Then this one is also blue, but it has like little marks kind of like that. Really great pattern as well. Um, so, at this point, I've got all of these different, uh, like, lines and patterns that can help me create another piece of artwork just by merely collaging them together. Um, so you can choose to do a landscape because I can see a lot of that in this as well. So like blues for the skies. Um, I thought I had one that had green in it, but I don't know where it has wandered off to. But um, the green ones, a lot of the times they're seen from your bank. They'll say FDC on the, or FDIC on the inside of the envelope. And lots of times they'll be green. And so you can use those as like trees, which is really, really awesome. And, um, and that would be perfect for that. But uh, in, in light of what we have right here, I say we just go ahead and make something. So I've got my opened up window envelope. Just like this. I noticed that this one says important vehicle information. I'm not so sure what was in that one, but we're just going to go for it. Um, so for this, you're going to need a little bit of an adhesive. So you can use Elmer's glue, you can use a glue stick, you can use a little Mod Podge, which I have right here. I picked this up at the Dollar Store, the Dollar Tree, um, a while back. I just kind of had it stuck in the drawer. Um, also, I had gotten this from the Dollar Tree as well, this um, adhesive spray. You can also use paint. If you don't have any adhesive at home at all, you can use rubber cement. Um, but if you don't have anything like that at home, you can actually put a little bit of paint um, underneath the pieces, and that can also kind of help seal them down a little bit. And that, that kind of works pretty good. If you really wanted to be adventurous, you can also use a um, like things from like envelopes that maybe somebody wanted to be fancy and they got some tape, some cool tape. You peel that off. Um, also these. Oh, that's my that's my coworker. He gets a little rowdy every once in a while. Now that we're all here at the house. Um. You can take these little stickers off of like things that come in the mail, these little flyers that come in the mail that actually close the pages. You can actually peel these off and use them as tape if you don't have anything. And that's kind of something else to kind of think about if you if you need that. Um, another thing to do is just go ahead and lay everything out the way you like it. And then just put it in a Ziploc bag or uh, just put it, you know, kind of fold it up together. And, and when you have the opportunity to get some Elmer's glue or tape or Mod Pod or whatever you prefer, take it back out then and put it, put it together after you have that. But you've got the project ready to go. Okay? So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to think about what I want to make. And I'm thinking that I want to do some sort of landscape. I think that's pretty great. I think that we all kind of know how landscapes work. And so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to really kind of look at my paper. And I've got this window envelope here. And you can make that decision if you want this to kind of be a part of your piece of artwork. Um, maybe this can actually become a car window. And so, with that being said, let's let's say that it is the car window. That kind of sounds cool. So, I'm going to kind of just sketch around. I think you can't really see that. And yeah, I'm going to use a marker. You don't have to use a marker, but I'm going to use a marker just so you can see. So, I'm going to sketch 
kind of around my window as if this was the front part of a car, okay? And this is going to be like where the people maybe were looking out. You know, but I'm not really sure about that. I don't really know if I really like where this is going. So I may actually change this. I may come back to this idea later, but what I'm seeing right now, I'm almost seeing kind of like a ledge with water. And then what about if I did kind of like a loose kind of sort of mountain range in the back? See, it's totally okay. See, there's my horizon line there. This could be really, really cool. So see, one thing I want to tell you about that is that once you start making art, if you have an idea of what you want it to be, and you start making it, and it ends up looking like something else, it's okay to change your mind. You can come back to that idea later. You don't have to force it. Okay, so if I would have forced this idea, I love the idea of making a car window and having this being almost like we're looking out. But for me, I started to see almost like it's the outside of the car and we would be standing in the landscape looking at the car. And that's not what I want. I want the audience, I want us to be looking out at the landscape. Okay, so does that make sense? So what I am going to do now, I am, you can choose different things here. You've got some options. You can choose to rip the paper and kind of collage it down. You can choose to use some scissors um, and cut it neatly. Just don't put too much pressure on yourself to make sure everything is 100% exact. The other thing I'm going to tell you, we have all these choices, all of them. We don't have to use all of these. We can save some of these for our next project or our project on down the road. So you want to pick out the best ones for this project. Just because this little fancy one is my favorite, it doesn't mean that I'm going to use this one for this project, though. If this isn't right for this project, then I'm going to save this, even though I'm really excited about it and I can't wait to use it. All right, so... I'm going to first design my mountainscape. So I'm just going to, so the width of my, my papers are about the same, okay? So I'm going to just kind of take it upon myself to kind of rework where the mountains are going to go, okay? So I'm going to do that first. And I'm just going to loosely, I'm not going to be too hard on myself here, but I'm loosely going to just kind of cut out all the way around that. Just like so. And I'm not doing a perfect job, but I like what I like what I'm doing, truly. So, yeah, I like it. So look, now I kind of got this idea of um, the mountains kind of coming in in that negative space around the sky. So we cut out the sky, and so here would be our mountains, but right now there's nothing there, so that's negative space. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a little bit of Mod Podge on a brush, just like so. I'm just going to dab it in there. Oop, maybe a little bit too much. There we go. I got excited. Okay, and I'm just going to put a little bit of this on the back of this envelope. Go back and get a little bit more. Just like so. Just like this. And I haven't cut off the top. You may have noticed that. I'm not going to cut the top off because I might want to come back and use that later as maybe um, a part of what anchors this piece into our junk journal. So I'm just going to leave it just like that. 
Okay. We're going to see what happens. Sometimes those happy mistakes happen and you're just like, Ooh, I'm glad I did not cut that off. I'm so glad. All right. So I've gone ahead. I've glued this down. That's looking kind of cool already, isn't it? I'm loving where we're going. All right. So I have glued this down a little bit more there on the edge. No big deal. Just like that. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick out the perfect type of paper that could maybe look a little rocky. And I'm thinking that I want to use this one. This one has the hash mark or those, uh, those hash marks. And I'm thinking I want this to kind of be this rocky, this rocky ledge, maybe right here, this sort of area. Okay. And I'm not going to cover up all of that window either. I kind of I like that window. I think I might use it later to kind of help me maybe put something in there. Mm, I kind of like that idea. So I'm just going to cut out what I think could be good for our mountainscape. This is going to be so cute, y'all. Really. It's going to be so cool. Look at that. So that could be part of our uh, ledge there. But like I said, I want to leave a little bit of that window showing. Let me kind of like this. Okay, kind of cool. I love it. Ooh, it's raining. It is raining like crazy here all day. It's been gloomy and just gray. I'm really hoping that sun comes out soon and we can start enjoying a little bit warmer weather, even if we're home, right? Because even if we're home and we're making art or, you know, doing whatever we're doing that's important, to our lives and our survival, you know, it's good. It's a good thing. We're, we're all right. We're all right. Okay, everybody. So look at that. So that can be kind of my ledge. I can even go back and do like another little layer and kind of put in some stones. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to cut out some little rocky sort of looking um, textured sort of pieces that I can want to layer on top a little bit that might actually give it even more of a rocky look. Let me show you what that looks like. I'm kind of excited about that. Okay. So they're just little pieces kind of like this. And I'm just going to apply them maybe kind of maybe here, kind of wherever it would be closest to us as the audience. Um, we want to kind of make that come out even more to kind of make us feel like we're, we're standing in the landscape, like we're somewhere else, which could be a really nice feeling. All right, so look, do you see how I did that? So you could do that all along here and make it look like it has like that textured, uh, rocky sort of feeling and make it look heavy because rocks are heavy, right? So you want to make it look that way. Now, as you can see, I have my sky, I've got my mountains and my negative space here. I know that I did um, my black marker before, um, but you, since you'd be using pencil, yours is not going to show up and you can actually erase it. I'm not mad about it. I kind of really like it. I love kind of this, look how that kind of turned out. I really, I kinda, I'm happy. I'm happy with it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to think about like what my water would be looking like, like coming over that ledge there. And so I want to make sure I pick one. It doesn't have to be blue if you don't want it to be blue, but I, I definitely want to use something a little different um, than what I used in the sky. Okay. So I'm going to use this one that kind of looks like circles overlapping. It's really kind of cool, actually. Like this. And it's going to be all in the way you cut it. 
Yes. All right. So you know how waterfalls kind of have that bubbly, um, organic, real flowy sort of look to it, right? Because that water is sometimes going really fast over ledges um, and all that, all right? So just remember, you want it to be just kind of organic. So no straight lines, nothing crazy like that. Um, you can even do something maybe where you cut, cut some pieces kind of going up like this that can be kind of nice to kind of help show the directions and maybe the speed of the water that could be kind of cool they can be all different sizes yeah i think i might like that okay i might like that let's see what that looks like so i'm gonna hold it up and just kind of test it out a little bit And this is kind of where we are. So we're kind of getting that waterfall look, but we're not quite there yet. We're not quite there yet. What I want to do, I'm actually going to put a black underneath it. Um, and I think that that's going to give it a little bit more of um, like a depth. Just kind of give it a little bit of a contrast and color. Might really be interesting. Oh, and that pattern is kind of cool too. So, let me see what I think. So this is kind of what I would have. That's kind of neat. I kind of like that. Okay, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. All of ours is gonna look different. That's what makes this so awesome and so brilliant is that these are really special uh, for yourself, for your own artist self. So whatever you decide to do on your landscape used with recycled envelopes, it's, it's really up to you. Nobody needs to tell you how to be your own artist. All we can do is, is teach you the fundamentals and kind of give you the ideas to kind of help get that your mind going, continuing that creative um, drive. And that's what's really important to me. It's always been important to me that that creative drive continues to be there and that you are never afraid to change something. These envelopes were meant to send people notifications in the mail, whether it's a bill or an advertisement. And now look what we're doing with them. We're making art for our for our dump journals. And I just think that, that is so cool. Always changing things, always and forever. Right? So this is kind of where we are. I think it's looking pretty pretty stellar. Um, I also want to go in with a little bit of coffee. So you know that how crazy I am about doing some coffee staining and coffee painting. Well, this is the best time to go in and kind of darken some things up to change things. And so I really think like with these uh, little rocks and things that we had here to go in with the Q-tip, I'm just using the Q-tip. We're just gonna darken up the edges, maybe a little bit here and here. Kind of give it a different sort of look to it. And you can really paint around with this. Really make it really something cool. Kind of giving it a little bit more texture here and there. Just like so. And you can do the same thing with the water too. Watch. You can just kind of darken that up a little bit. And it's really just going to start coming alive and, and looking really, really interesting. And, uh, really capture people people's interest okay but just kind of putting that in there i can even go in and darken up my mountains if i want to i can go in and just kind of add a little bit of a tone there just to kind of give it just a little bit of color just a little bit of that brown color i think i'm gonna leave my sunny um my bright and and wonderful sky here i'm gonna leave it alone i love how bright it is i love that pattern on it everything about it says fresh air and good times right 
So just kind of giving a little bit of that to it. I think that, that just really changes the way it looks. Once it dries, it will, you can build this up. So right now what you're seeing is that you're seeing, you know, kind of the wet uh, marks. But once it dries, it's going to be nice and, and subtle and it's going to feel good and it, you can build it up. So just like we did on our coffee um, painting, you're going to build up some of those tones. Okay. So you're going to do the same thing here. You can build that up if you would like to. All right. So remember this part, we're just going to leave this on there. If you've got that on there, just leave it there. And then just fold it backwards like so and now you have a really cool little piece of artwork that is going to be ready to go into our jump journal all right now one other thing I would, I would talk to you about if you have a window in this piece of artwork I think that it would be really cool to actually do a pocket in the back or something where you can you can almost give like a message so if you want to name your mountainscape, if you want to give it a place, you can actually add a little pocket in the back. So for instance, if I wanted to use like this same catalog, okay? And let's say that I really love, go through there, find colors you really like, and you're not necessarily just looking at the items, but instead you're looking at the colors and you're looking at the textures of the colors. All right, so for instance, this bedspread is a really pretty blue color. I might wanna cut that out and use that. I kinda like the texture of these tires. That might actually be kinda cool. Um, it's not really the right size that I want. Oh, but I do love this. This is right, you know. I don't know if you've been able to tell or not, but I really love coffee. So I'm going to just cut that out. Because nothing to me is better than a good old cup of coffee while you're sitting and looking at a mountainscape. I just think that that's awesome. So now I would have my coffee, but I would be having it show up through. So sorry through my landscape. I don't know. I think it could be kind of fun. Um, but also too, you can just glue this down and then you can write special messages and actually have this be like a little pocket for little notes or something inspirational. Uh, it could be really, really cool. I've got some pocket um, lessons planned for us to be making some really cool pockets. What I need you to do instead of um, waiting until the next video, try to find some things around the house. Find things around the house that you think would be really fun to incorporate into our journals, okay? So remember, they're going to be forever changing, just like we are. We're always um, adapting and, and changing to whatever's going on around us. Remember that the, this world is a big place, and so many things are going on um, outside of where we are right this second. So always, always, always be looking for some really cool things to incorporate into our journals um, from around the house. Where I'm talking about like clothes that you might not like anymore that we could cut up that maybe have has cool lace or buttons on it or tassels or um, anything like, you know, from your junk mail to the newspaper to magazines to um, interesting things on food boxes. Uh, be saving things like toilet paper rolls and, um, let's see, paper towel rolls, anything like that, all right, because we're going to be having a lot of fun with that stuff. All right, so that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. That way you're following along and making our junk journals with us every day. Have a wonderful rest of your day and uh, be kind and helpful and that will you know forever ever make you feel good in your heart all right have a great day